Good evening. Resurrection Eagle fans, this is uh, Noah Hamilton here from the Eagle's Nest in Pascagoula, Mississippi with the uh, uh, semifinal round, quarterfinal round of the uh, Class 1 Volleyball State Championship Tournament. Uh, our host, Resurrection Catholic School Eagles, are playing the East Marion Eagles uh, tonight for a chance to get a trip to Oxford. Uh, again, I'm Mr. Hamilton, and this is my partner, Hunter Bickham, and Hunter and I will talk a little bit and try to walk you through this game and, and give you some insight as to what's going on, and we hope that you enjoy this broadcast. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we really appreciate y'all giving WGUD the opportunity to come and uh, stream this event. We're very excited about it. We've we started opening up our sports, and volleyball has always been on the list, and what a, you know, we couldn't ask for a better way to get this thing started. So, um, and like you said, it's the Eagles versus the Eagles. Tell me a little bit about uh, the team, um, some of the star players on it, and what you expect out of this match. Well, you know, this will this will make the the third year in a row we have the actually the fourth year in a row we've had the opportunity to to get to um, the state championship and the state championship tournament. And uh, uh, we only have one senior this year, so we're we're pretty young. Uh, but we've got. Uh, all of our girls are returning starters. We only graduated a couple off last year's team, so all these girls have played considerably, and, and uh, we continue to have uh, younger kids that get, get a good bit of playing time and are ready to go. So uh, I, I expect us to, to get a fast start and to play hard and to, and to play strong. And um, you know, we, we wind up catching this East Marion team almost every year somewhere wow. in the playoffs, first <laughs> round, third round, somewhere. And so – uh, I, I can't say it's a rival, but but it has been something that's happened every year. So we're, we're just excited to be here and, and ready to get playing. All right, Mr. Hamilton, I, I'm not going to lie. I love watching volleyball, especially in the Olympics and uh, college, but I'm not familiar with the terminology, so I'm relying on you 100% <laughs> when it comes to a lot of things going on. I, I know what a set and a spike is, yeah. so we'll just go that far, and I'll leave the rest up to you. Good, good. Well, it, it, it'll be fun, and I think it'll be a little little learning experience for everybody to hear some of the some of the things. You know, a lot of people come out and watch volleyball, but don't hear the terminology because they're in the stands listening, so or watching. So uh, maybe maybe they'll be able to pick up on some of the some of the lingo. All right. They've kind of gone through their traditional, uh, you know, they, they, they go through and they clap hands and, and they start every volleyball match that way. It's kind of a, an interesting way to get sportsmanship started and, and get the kids talking to each other from each team so that there's uh, some sportsmanship and some good strong play. So it looks like uh, our Lady Eagles will serve to start this contest. We're in set one. Uh, and LaDana Parker will serve to get it started. The serve is long, and that's an East Marion score. So right now the score is zero to one, East Marion in the lead. Uh, the Lady Eagles from East Marion will serve. There's a set, LaDana taps it across. Number three for East Marion. They get it across the net. There's a tap. It looks like East Marion was in the net. Uh, but they can't cross over that line at the bottom. And any time they cross any part of their body over that, over that line, um, it is, is an out and goes to the other team. So we're one to one here in set number one. Junae Pickens to serve for resurrection. She gets a good strong serve in. Uh, they get the dig and the set. It's a short spike, a little tap. And, and another, another tap for the Eagles. They try a two-handed push across. And there's a set. Kadeja Cowan with the, uh, with the spike, but it's just a little bit long. Well, looks like now they're giving it to us. So we get a point on that one, huh? We got a point on that one. So uh, 
we take the two to one lead. Drunet will continue to serve for Resurrection and she gets a short serve in, which is a good strategic move. They get a two-handed tap across. She gets the save and there's a set. Roberts with the spike, but it came back. They had not hit their three hits, so they're able to continue. Another set, Kadeja with the spike. They try to get the, uh, get the kill. It's in, Resurrection score, goes 3-1, Resurrection Eagles. Drunet will continue to serve. So as long as uh, Resurrection continues to score, she'll continue to serve. Again, a good strong serve. Looks like it's misplayed by East Marion. Goes out of bounds. Um, that is considered an ace. And so uh, Ladena uh, getting some good strong serves in about midline. And uh, it's now four to one resurrection. Gets it served across. It looks like it's played a little uneasily. Set and Kadeja with the kill. Wow. Good strong spike. And uh, that's point for resurrection. So it goes five to one resurrection. Now, Hunter, this is one area that we, we struggled early on in the season was getting that first serve across. But as you can see, Drew wow. did a really good job of getting it in and uh, continuing to score. Yes. Uh, so it goes 6-1, to one and, and East Marion will call a timeout. Uh, we had quite a few matches this year where we, we struggled. We would, we would score some points, and, and it wasn't just one person. It seemed to be everybody really kind of struggled to get the serve across. But, uh, um, you yeah, know, they work very hard. They work long hours and, and, and get some good time in at practice, and it looks like it's, it's starting to pay off. They're starting to peak here right at this perfect time, and um, we just keep playing hard. So East Marion will try to regroup with Resurrection up six to one. And Drew Ney Pickens will continue to serve for Resurrection. Serve goes a little deeper. It is uh, played on by East Marion. Uh, but is out on East Marion and goes to 7-1 to one Resurrection. We're in set number one here in this Class 1 uh, volleyball tournament here in Pascagoula at Resurrection High School. A good midline serve. They get it across. They only go two hits. Godfrey with the set. Roberts with the spike. They get the save. And East Marion continues to hit. They hit it straight in the net. Nice. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Roberts with the with the kill. So it's now 8-1. Eight, 8-1 one. Eight to one resurrection. I'm sitting here trying to – It's not. I'm used to doing football, and I'm sitting here trying to keep the score, and I'm like, oh, this is a full-time job right it, here. It, it is. It can be a very quick-paced uh, match. Adrenae gets a little deeper this time, and uh, there's the set. They tap it across. Godfrey with the set. Roberts with the spike, and it's in. Another point for Resurrection. They continue to mount it up. Drunet now with uh, eight consecutive serve points to go to nine to one Resurrection. Serve goes deep. They hit it high twice and now they misplay the ball and it's point Resurrection and it goes to 10 to one. And so our Lady Eagles are, are playing strong, playing well. Drunet will continue to serve. Good serve. East Marion taps across. Decato, Godfrey, Cowan with a spike. It's played but goes long on East Marion, and it'll be point resurrection. And it goes to 11 to 1, our Lady Eagles from resurrection.
Journey with the line serve. There's a set. They kind of tap it across. Journey. And Kadeja with the spike. Nice. In and point. And so it goes 12 to 1 resurrection. Again, Drunay's doing a great job of keeping the ball in, getting a, getting a strong serve just over the net. Sometimes it's short, sometimes it's long, but she's kind of mixing that up. And it makes it difficult for East Marion to return the serve in, in a good, good way. She gets it in. There's the set. They try spike, and it's in. Point East Marion, so it goes 12 to 2. So East Marion will take the serve over. And now East Marion will serve 12 to 2 resurrection. Get the serve in, Pickens, Godfrey. Cowan taps across, it hits the net, doesn't go across, and so it'll be point East Marion. Looks like she kind of short armed it and just tried to get it across and instead she, she just hit it off just a little bit. So it goes 12 to three. Our Resurrection Eagles are in the lead. There's the serve, it's a deep serve. Roberts taps across, East Marion saves. They go for the spike and it goes long and, and wide. And so it's point Resurrection and it'll be side out. It goes 14 uh, to three. And uh, Emma Godfrey now becomes the server for resurrection. Emma with a short serve, it's in. And East Marion misplays it, and it goes to 15 to three resurrection. Emma Godfrey will continue to serve. She got a nice strong serve that was short. The serve, and there's the tap. Set, they kind of tap it across. Bettina Bolin with the tap across. It's a back and forth kind of game. Roberts with the with the slam. Very nice. Yep, she gets it just inside the corner there. And uh, it goes 16 to three, Resurrection. We're still in set number one. Emma Godfrey will continue the Resurrection serve. Good strong serve. East Marion with a two-hand push across. Cowan with the save. Set. And Cowan with the spike, and she slams it down right in the middle, deep, and gets it in. And it goes 17 to 3, resurrection. Kind of a midline serve. Emma with a good serve there. A spike. But Emma with the uh, save. East Marion kind of misplays it, doesn't get it to the net. And it goes resurrection point, goes 18 to three, resurrection. Another good serve, about a midline serve. They tap across, Emma with the save there. Patina with the set. Miss Roberts gets the kill. It goes to goes to 18 to three resurrection. There's the serve set across. Bettina, well, Dana Parker gets it across the net. East Marion keeps it saved. They tap across. Bettina Bolin, little tap there from Kadeja Cowan. Oh, nice gets try. Gets it across. There's a save by Parker. Set. Spike, they get a good save out of it. They keep it alive. East Marion taps across. LaDana Parker. Bettina Bolin with a little two-handed tap. They get it across, but it's wide. It'll be point resurrection. The young lady from East Marion did a good job of getting it over the net, and it was a good, good soft tap. She just got it over the net, but it was wide by about 18 inches. So it's still point resurrection, and uh, Emma Godfrey will continue to serve. East Marion gets a save, they get it across. Godfrey, Bolin, Roberts. It's hit out by East Marion. She got a good slam. She got a good spike on it, got it across the net, uh, in, into the girl's upper body, and kind of hard to play, and went, went out wide. 
Godfrey with the serve by the midline. They get the save. There's two and a tap across. Parker to Godfrey with the set. Roberts with the tap. A great little tap. A little two-handed tap that just gets across. After you spike a couple, two or three times and you get that front line playing a little deeper back, uh, those, those one-handed and two-handed taps will drop just in front of them. It's a great strategic play. There's the two-handed tap, but Cowan with the save. Resurrection gets it across. East Baron with a save. Tap across. Dana Parker with, with the hit. And uh, nobody from East Marion went to play it. Wasn't a strong hit, but she got it across and uh, got it down at their feet. And um, Resurrection continues to score. Emma Godfrey again with the serve. Good midline serve. Set. Spike, but it's, it's long. And so it'll be point Resurrection. Number 15 for East Marion's got a good strong swing. She just can't seem to get it in. There's the serve by Godfrey. East Bend with a save, two and a tap across. Parker with a save. Pickens, Bolin with the tap across. East Bend gets a save. Good strong spike. As I said before, the number number 14's got a good strong swing, and uh, and she got a hold of that one, got on top of it, and got it down. Inside and so East Marion with the point, so that'll side out. And uh, East Marion will now serve. And number 14 for East Marion will serve. Gets a good strong serve, but it's deep. So we'll side out again. Point resurrection, and uh, the Eagles will take over serve. Caroline Roberts with the serve now for resurrection. Good serve. East Marion with a save. Two and a tap across. A little deep. Roberts. Godfrey. Holland. Number 17 for East Marion. Does a good job of tapping it across and gets it into a spot that no resurrection Lady Eagles are standing. And so it's point East Marion will side out. And now East Marion will get the serve. Good serve, saved by Cowan. It's tapped around a little bit. They get it across, Parker, Godfrey, Cowan with the spike, and it's a kill. So point resurrection, and that's the end of the set. So we must have missed one. I guess it was it's 25 to five. So right. resurrection takes set number one. We're gonna go ahead and hear a word from our sponsor real fast. We'll be right back. Tonight's game is made possible by The Burrow Law Firm. The Burrow Law Firm is a general law firm located in Pascagoula. The firm focuses on business law, business development, commercial transactions, business and commercial litigation, and medical malpractice defense. The Burrow Law Firm, located on Jackson Avenue in Pascagoula. For more information, call 228-447-4330. Go Eagles! From Stephen Burrow and The Burrow Law Firm. Are you looking for a gym that's both convenient and affordable? Look no further than Pro Health and Fitness on Krebs Avenue. As part of the downtown Main Street community, Pro Health and Fitness takes pride in bringing you the latest equipment to keep both the avid bodybuilder and beginner in tip-top shape. Pro Health is open seven days a week for your convenience. They also offer personal training, massage therapy, steam room, and full basketball court. Call David today at 769-7799 or stop by and ask about our special discounts and corporate rates. And all right, we're back. Back here in Pascagoula, Mississippi for the Class 1 uh, State Volleyball Tournament. This is a quarterfinal round. Uh, the winner of tonight's Resurrection Lady Eagles and uh, East Marion Lady Eagles advances to Oxford, to Ole Miss, to play in the uh, semifinals on Thursday night. Um, they take two teams from the south and two teams from the north. And in the last, uh, this is the third year they've done this format. And all three years, it's been uh, Our Lady uh, Academy from Bay St. Louis and uh, Our Resurrection Catholic School Eagles uh, from Pascagoula making those trips over uh, to the various venues for this state championship tournament. 
Uh, the North have teams have varied each year. Um, but we're excited to be in this position and to have an opportunity to play our way back and, and to play for another uh, chance at a state championship. Uh, our sister diocesan school, Our Lady Academy, uh, who is very dominant in um, volleyball, has won those last four or five in a row. Um, and so we feel like maybe this is a year that we can uh, we can change that trend and get the big ball going here to resurrection. So, yep. so I'm if they sorry, continue Hunter. to play like this, then, you know, I'm, I mean, I've watched a good bit of volleyball, but this team is, is coming out strong and serves are on point. Yep. They're, they're, um, like, like I told you earlier, they, they had some lapses this year where serves struggled, but as you saw tonight so far, serves have been a very strong point for them. Uh, I think they only went four servers, maybe five servers deep in that first set, and um, and that's good. You know, uh, we had one server that uh, – that ran off uh, nine or ten points in a row, maybe 11, I don't remember now, and another server that ran off six or seven in a row. So yes. anytime you do that and, and not run through all your servers at, in each set, obviously you put yourself in a better position. So East Marion will start set number two. Resurrection won the first set 25 to five. East Marion will begin set number two. Roberts with the hit, and it's just in in that corner. And so it goes 1-0, Resurrection. So Resurrection will side out and take the serve. Drunay Pickens will serve. Drunay is the one I was talking about earlier that ran off 10 or 11 points in a row the last set. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if she's got the same touch this set. Lefty gets it across, hits the net, but it's still good. East Marion plays it on their side and they get the hit across. Parker, Godfrey, Roberts. East Marion with a the save. They hit the top, but if you hit the top on your play, you have to keep playing. And it goes down and it score resurrection. So it goes two to zero. Uh, resurrection Eagles. And Drew Ney will continue the serve. Uh, she mishits it, doesn't get across, so we'll side out. It'll go point East Marion, and it goes resurrection two and East Marion one. East Marion with the serve. So now we get to defend the serve. Good strong serve across. Decato, Godfrey, Cowan, good strong hit. East Marion gets the play on it, but it ricochets off and goes up in the stands and it'll be side out and point resurrection. So it goes to three to one, resurrection over East Marion. Emma Godfrey to serve for resurrection. Good midline serve and East Marion just misplays it. And that's an ace. Maybe not the strongest ace I've ever seen, but nonetheless, uh, East Marion wasn't able to return it. So Emma will continue the serve and it's four to one resurrection. Serve across, hit number two, they get it across, Little Brer hits it across. Godfrey to, B to Bettina Bolin, she taps across. East Marion sw swings across, Godfrey gets it back it through. East Marion with a save, they tap across, Cowan. And Bettina Bolin gets a strong hit, it goes up. East Marion gets the save, plays it off the top. Godfrey, Bolin, Roberts. Doesn't quite get it across. It's played and saved. Wow. And it goes wide. It'll be point resurrection. <laughs> Anytime you get that that uh, play on the net where it's tapped back and you kind of keep going back and forth with it, you just keep saving yourself and keep playing. East Marion gets a tap across. Cowan, Godfrey, Cowan, good strong hit. Goes out off the East Marion player. It'll be point resurrection. It goes six to <laughs> one resurrection over East Marion. Emma Godfrey again will, will serve for resurrection. Strong serve across, low, cross the net. East Marion tries to spike.
Parker. Godfrey. Bowling. It's tapped by East Marion. Gets away from him a little bit, but they get the play. Third hit, they get it across. Parker. Godfrey. Cowan with the spike. The slam. It's hit by East Marion, but it goes long and wide. So again, we've got point resurrection. It goes seven to one. Resurrection over East Marion. About a midline serve. East Marion keeps to playing. Cowan, Godfrey with the tap. But East Marion was in the net. As I explained earlier, if you cross that line underneath, uh, that's considered in the net, and it's a it's, uh, point. And so Resurrection gets the point, and it goes 8-1 to one Resurrection. Good serve across. East Marion with an early tap across. Tina Bolin into the net. So East Marion's done it a couple times today, and now tonight uh, Resurrection gets up into the net, and it'll be side out and point for East Marion. So it's Resurrection 8, East Marion 2, and the Lady Eagles from East Marion will serve. Strong serve. She just couldn't get it quite over the net, and it'll side out. Resurrection gets that point, and it goes 9-2. to two. And now Caroline Roberts will take over the serve for Resurrection. Roberts with the serve, a good serve. East Marion tries to tap across, kind of out of position to make the play, gets away from her. It's like she tried to go over the back of her yeah. head with, or the front of her head or behind her. Instead of letting one. the young lady that was facing it get the hit, she kind of tried to go backwards and, and uh, that's a difficult hit. Good long serve for Resurrection. East Marion gets the play, hits across. Nice. Kadeja with a good strong hit. And uh, Resurrection just continues to, to be a little more powerful, uh, placing the ball on the serves and, and getting East Marion in bad position and then setting up Kadeja for the strong hit uh, or getting uh, Bettina or, or uh, Caroline on the taps across. East Marion gets it across. Holland. Holland with the... With a good strong hit, number 17, from East Marion uh, tried to get the kill there, uh, but it got away from her, and Resurrection continues to score. So Caroline Roberts will continue to serve. Good serve across. Ball gets away from East Marion, and Resurrection continues to score. So it's an ace for Caroline. East Marion will sub. So right now on the front for Resurrection, we have Mia Holland, Bettina Bolin, Kadeja Cowan, Emma Godfrey, Junae Pickens, and Caroline Roberts on the back. There's the save. They hit the ball across, and they get it in. Placed it where no Lady Eagle was for Resurrection, and so uh, it goes 13 to three resurrection side out. And East Marion will take the serve. Young lady from East Marion. To, East Marion got a good strong hit in, got it over the net and just inside. Good serve, Cowan, Godfrey, Cowan. You can see when she went up, kind of got away from her. She didn't get a good strong hit. So East Marion will continue to serve. 13 to four resurrection in set number two. There's the serve. Pickens, Godfrey, Bowling with a good strong swing. Placed it right oh, she did. in the hole. She got it right in the middle where no East Marion players were. Uh, she's a lefty as well. She got a good strong swing, put it right where it needed to be. So it goes 14 to 4 resurrection. Mia Holland with the swing. East Marion gets the save. The ball goes up and taps around and doesn't go across the net. So Resurrection will continue to score. East Today, Marion saving a lot of these spikes, but they, they just get it get away from. They them, are. They like. are. They're getting themselves in position, but then they just can't finish the play. Uh, Kadeja Cowan with the serve. East Marion tap across. Kadeja with the save. 
Godfrey goes ahead and taps across early. East Marion with a strong swing. Godfrey bowling. Gets blocked by East Marion. Gets away, but it's out off on resurrection. So it'll go side out. East Marion with the point, and it's 15 to 5 resurrection. East Marion will serve. Bettina Bolin with a good strong swing. Saved by East Marion. They tap across, but it goes long. So it'll be side out, point for resurrection, 16 to five. Celine Decatote will come in for Bettina Bolin and she'll go to the back to serve. Decatote with a good strong serve. East Marion plays and taps across, Parker. Zoria Sanders with a good strong swing, but it gets blocked. Continues to play, everybody gets a save. Godfrey, Holland with the tap. But East Marion was in the net. And so it's point resurrection. They just got up underneath that net. Celine Decato with a good strong serve. It's returned. Holland with the tap. She goes deep with it, but it's saved. Swing, but it's out. Point for resurrection. Young lady from East Marion got a good place. She kind of knew where she wanted to put it. Good strong swing, but just made it about six or eight inches wide. So Celine will serve. Gets it across. Good strong serve. They don't play that first serve very well, but they get it across. LaDana Parker, Mia Holland. It's blocked, but they're able to save it. They tap, and it kind of gets away from them, and it goes out. And so it's point resurrection, <clears throat> and it goes 19 to 5. This man gets the push across. Denmark. Sanders with a good strong swing. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. She gets up so high, and she lets the ball kind of set up there, and then she gets a good strong swing, good downward motion, and gets it, gets to place it wherever she wants it. Long serve, which is good. They kind of get a little confused there, but they get the play. Godfrey, Holland, it's tapped across. Sanders, Godfrey. Sanders has to step back and tap. Gets away from East Marion. Goes out of bounds. Point resurrection. So he goes to 21 to 5 here in set number two. East Marion will sub. Celine Decato for resurrection continues to serve. And she gets a good strong hit, but she hits it in the net. And it'll be point East Marion side out. And so it goes 21 to six in favor of our resurrection Lady Eagles. So East Marion will serve. Dana Parker, Decato. Godfrey with a good strong swing, but she just goes wide. Ooh, almost made in there too. Yeah, she, she got a good strong swing. It went wide by probably 18 inches across the court. I think she'll, she'll get that down here the next little bit. Good serve. Decato, Sanders, it's stopped by East Marion. Point for East Marion as it goes out off of resurrection. East Marion's got a good tall front line, uh, which is why Resurrection's doing a good bit of tapping or setting across the way to get it away from the big, tall, lengthy girls. Holland with the uh, cross court. They tap across, Denmark. Godfrey, Holland, it's tapped, saved by East Marion. They keep it playing, they tap across on number three. Adana Parker, Godfrey, Holland with the tap. Doesn't quite get there, and so it's point East Marion. So it's 21 to nine now, 
Uh, East Marion rattling off four or five points here in a row, kind of getting themselves back in the game a little bit. Serve across, but she can't get it over the net. And so is the so magic number 25. The magic number is 25. And it's 22 to 9 resurrection. LaDana Parker with the serve. Uh, we play the best of five sets. All right. Tap around. This is third. They get it across. Sanders, Godfrey, Roberts goes long. It's out. Just couldn't quite get it in there. And so East Marion gets their 10th point of set number two. It's 22 to 10 resurrection. East Marion will serve. Decato, Godfrey, Parker. Ball gets away from East Marion, goes backwards. So it'll be point resurrection and side out. And it goes 23 to 10 resurrection. Drunay Pickens comes back around to serve. It's her go again, and so she'll serve it up, but she gets it right in the net. And Hunter, this is kind of what I was talking about earlier, that we win a spell, kind of did this a few times, and, and, and it happens sometimes, especially as the game kind of gets away from one team or the other. You lose a little focus, but I think they'll, they'll continue to play hard and get this back. But so now East Marion goes long. And it goes set point. So it's Resurrection 24, East Marion 11. And it's, it's set point. All right. Emma Godfrey with the Resurrection serve. Good serve. Low middle. East Marion taps across. Roberts, Godfrey, Bolin. It's tap. Gets away from her. And that's the set. And so we go to two sets to zero, resurrection. So we'll play this third set here in a few minutes. Okay. And it could be the deciding set to send resurrection to Oxford. Well, let me go ahead and hear from some of our sponsors. It's made possible by the Borough Law Firm. The Burrow Law Firm is a general law firm located in Pascagoula. The firm focuses on business law, business development, commercial transactions, business and commercial litigation, and medical malpractice defense. The Burrow Law Firm, located on Jackson Avenue in Pascagoula. For more information, call 228-447-4330. Go Eagles! From Stephen Burrow and the Burrow Law Firm. Are you looking for a gym that's both convenient and affordable? Look no further than Pro Health and Fitness on Krebs Avenue. As part of the downtown Main Street community, Pro Health and Fitness takes pride in bringing you the latest equipment to keep both the avid bodybuilder and beginner in tip top shape. Pro Health is open seven days a week for your convenience. They also offer personal training, massage therapy, steam room, and full basketball court. Call David today at 769 7799 or stop by and ask about our special discounts and corporate rates. Did you pay the mortgage this month? I did. Why? Oh no, I think it went to the wrong company. They sold our loan again. Don't let this happen to you. At First Federal, loans are managed by our mortgage specialists from application to payoff. We don't sell our loans and leave you wondering who to pay. So whether you are buying, refinancing, or building a home, we are there to assist you from beginning to end. With the mortgage at First Federal, you're always first with us. Visit a local branch today to learn more. Hey, I'm Lee Turner, the host of After Hour Cinema. Be sure to join us every Friday at 1030, where I'll be sitting right here bringing you the very best in B-movies. Join us live Friday nights for St. Martin Football, streaming live on WGUD's new YouTube channel. Subscribe today to the Gulf Coast Sports Network. Savage Skillet and Tim Allen with Gulf Bank presents a new cooking show that features beautiful homes for sale by Coldwell Banker Alfonso Realty. It's a taste of real estate with host Jared Wabel. Watch all episodes now on Facebook or WGUD's new Roku channel. Tonight's game is made possible by the Burrow Law Firm. 
The Burrow Law Firm is a general law firm located in Pascagoula. The firm focuses on business law, business development, commercial transactions, business and commercial litigation, and medical malpractice defense. The Burrow Law Firm, located on Jackson Avenue in Pascagoula. For more information, call 228-447-4330. Go Eagles! From Stephen Burrow and the Burrow Law Firm. Welcome back. Uh, we're here for set number three. Uh, our Resurrection Lady Eagles have taken the first two sets. They won set one, 25 to five, and took set two, 25 to 11. And so um, we moved to set three, and this is the best of five. So set three, if our Resurrection Lady Eagles win, it takes them uh, to Oxford. So Resurrection will serve this one. Uh, LaDana Parker will start. She gets a good strong serve across. Ball gets away. Goes right over our head. Oh, they, they threw one in. They threw one in. Uh, we about got a head shot on that one, but we got away from it. Yep. Thought I was going to have to show them us. My uh, serving skills there I, for I a second. I thought you were going to set me. <laughs> <laughs> East Marion with a good, strong swing. Ball goes wide and long, and Resurrection takes a two to zero lead. Like I said, you know, we've been wanting to get into doing volleyball and, of course, all different types of sports. We're used to doing football and baseball, but, you know, during this last uh, set break, I was thinking – you know, kind of seeing the angles of where the best are, and I think we've got a good one here because now we can actually see the entirety of the court good. of what's going on. So, Excellent. A little late game adjustment, but we're, right. we're getting there, you know. That's all right. Ball goes long, and uh, East Marion with the point. It'll go side out, so East Marion uh, gets their first point of this set. It's 2-1 to one resurrection, and East Marion serving. Good strong serve, Denmark. Godfrey, Sanders, but she hits it just wide. And East Marion makes this one a two to two game here in set number three. So early on, uh, our Eagles of Resurrection are kind of making a few mistakes. Good strong serve, Denmark. Godfrey, Roberts, ball gets away from East Marion, falls to the ground, and Resurrection will side out and take the point. Sanders and Denmark go out for Resurrection, and uh, Cowan and Pickens come in uh, to take their place, and so Drenae Pickens will serve for Resurrection in a 3-2 to two Lady Eagle game. Tapped across by East Marion. Decato, Godfrey, Roberts, good strong hit. Saved by East Marion. Okay. It's like Resurrection got the point on that one, right? Resurrection got the point on that one. It was play at the net, and it uh, looked like it dropped uh, just over the net. So for y'all watching, we are in set three, and Resurrection is – up two sets to none, right? Is that the correct terminology? That, that's it. That's correct. East Marion keeps the play. They get the ball across. Parker, Cowan, good strong swing, but she goes too wide oh, on it. Just a little too wide, too. Yeah, she hit it hard. We want to thank everybody who's watching on Facebook. we got some shout-outs here. Donnie Zell, Tanya Davis. Debbie Smith, Maddie Holloway. We want everybody to watch. It's a good opportunity and a good platform, and we're appreciative of y'all uh, allowing us to do this. So Resurrection scores. Goes 5-3 to three Resurrection, and Emma Godfrey will take over the serve for our Lady Eagles. Midline serve, tapped around a little bit, gets it across, Parker, Godfrey, Bolin, 
Looked like the ball was going to go long, but the girl made a play on it, hit the ball up, and uh, it got away from her. And so Resurrection with the point. So it goes 6-3, to three, Resurrection. Tap across, Pickens, Godfrey, Cowan with the tap. Played around for East Marion, uh, but in the net is East Marion. And so Resurrection will get that point. Where do we stand now as far as points? So Resurrection has seven, and East Marion has three here in this third set in the best of five. Good serve. It's a nice. Oh, nice, like a yeah. knuckleball. It's, uh, that's what it was. Gets it across, and the uh, young lady from East Marion just could not get to it in time and couldn't make the play. Roberts with the hit. The save goes long, but it's in. She got it in. It, it hit on the yellow line, and so East Marion gets that point. Looked like it might fall just wide. Uh, but I do believe he got the call right. I do believe it hit on that yellow line. So East Marion will side out and take control of the, of the serve. Serve goes across. Parker, Godfrey, Cowan with a mid spike. And she gets it in. She kind of varied what she did there. Instead of coming full force and trying to hit the ball really, really hard, she got the same type swing. But just kind of, it was almost like a pitcher's changeup. She just kind of changed at the last minute. And uh, instead of hitting really, really hard, uh, kind of changed the pace and made it difficult for East Marion to make the play. Caroline Roberts with the serve, but it doesn't quite go across. And so East Marion with the point. So as we side out and East Marion takes over the serve, it's our resurrection, Lady Eagles 9, and East Marion, Lady Eagles 5. Good serve, Parker. Very good serve. Cowan with a good, strong swing. East Marion just really kind of saved it, just trying try to keep it in play, and happened to hit it across the net and in a spot that there were no resurrection people. So it falls uh, for a point for East Marion. Another good serve. Gets away. And now East Marion's got back-to-back -back points, and all of a sudden it's resurrection nine, East Marion seven. Got a little hot streak going on here. Got a little hot streak going. East Marion trying to, trying to stay in it and uh, trying to steal this set three to stay in it. Godfrey, Bolin with a tap across. They get the save. They hit. Parker, Godfrey, Holland with the tap. Saved by East Marion. They keep it alive and they keep it across. Great play by the East Marion Lady Eagles. Mia Holland with the tap across. Again, East Marion with the save. They get it across, tap it across. Godfrey. Bowling, Cowan, nothing strong, just keeping it in play. East Marion hits it, but uh, it falls kind of harmlessly, and Resurrection takes that point and gets side out, and it goes 10 to 7 Resurrection, and now our our senior Kadeja Cowan will serve. Good serve, midline serve, gets it in. East Marion gets it across. Parker, Godfrey, Zoria Sanders with a good strong hit, gets away and goes up help, harmlessly up in the stands and it's point resurrection and it goes to 11 to seven. Again, if you're just joining us, we're in set number three. Uh, your resurrection Lady Eagles have won the first one 25 to five and the second one 25 to 11 and look to clinch a spot in the state championship tournament later this week with this win here in set number three. Ball gets across, Parker. Mia Holland with a strong, hard swing, but it oh. goes long. Uh, and East Marion will take the side out and take over the serve. Again, this is for a spot to play in the Class 1 state championship tournament in Oxford Thursday and Saturday. Gets across. Parker gets it midline on the save. Goes across for East Marion, kind of deep. Parker. Godfrey, Bowling with a good strong swing, gets away from everybody, but too many taps, or they call lifting, uh, and so Resurrection will take that point, and side out, and Celine Decato 
will substitute in for Bettina Bolin, and Celine will go to the back to serve. Good strong serve. It's an ace. Very and nice. Marion can't play it. It's off their legs and hands and about everything else and just uh, slides away from them. So 13 to 8. Points are hard to come by in this third set. They are. Good save. Tapped across by Dana Parker. East Marion keeps it playing. Denmark, Godfrey, Sanders with a good strong swing. It's tapped. Nice. Yep. Good strong play. She got it again. She hit it hard enough to, to get it up into their upper body, and it's kind of difficult if you let the ball get in there to you. It's hard to keep it playing. Celine will continue the serve. Again, good strong serve. It's saved and goes long. And so resurrection with the point, and it goes 15 to 8. Our resurrection Lady Eagles ahead in set number three. There's a serve. It's an ace. As East Marion can't make the play on it. And it goes to 16 to 8. Celine with a deep serve. Saved. Hit across. Holland. Holland. Gets, a, gets away from East Marion a little bit, but they're able to make the play and keep it safe. Hits the top, but on a sir, on a when the ball is hit across the net, if it hits the top, it's a dead ball and goes point to the other team. And so Resurrection gets that point, and Celine will continue to serve. Um, however, Celine can't get it across the net, and we'll go side out. And East Marion takes the point, and while East Marion goes to serve. It's 17 to nine resurrection in set number three. Decato with the tap across, East Marion with a save. They keep it in play, get it across. Holland, Godfrey, Holland again with a deep tap. Saved by East Marion. They're doing a good job of keeping the ball in play. Parker, Godfrey. Sanders has to step back, she mishits it. It just doesn't quite make it across the net. So it goes to 17 to 10, and East Marion will continue to serve. Strong serve. Decato to Godfrey. Godfrey with the spike. It falls harmlessly, and Resurrection will take the point. Emma got a good, good strong swing on the ball and got it across. And, uh, East Marion just really couldn't quite make the play. It was tipped at the front line, but got away. There's a serve by LaDana Parker. It's a good serve, low and short. Denmark, Godfrey, Sanders with a good strong hit, but East Marion with a save. They tap across on the second hit. Godfrey, Roberts goes wide. It's in. Mm. Good strong hit. It, you really couldn't tell from our angle whether it was going to stay in or not, and it did. It just kind of stuck to that yellow line and stayed in. Ladena with the serve, gets it across. East Marion taps it around a little bit and then goes across the net. Decato, Godfrey, Sanders with a good strong swing. It's tapped at the front line, so East Marion's able to continue to play. They get it up on, on the third hit, but it doesn't quite get across the net. And Resurrection will take that. That's their 20th point. And so Resurrection leads 20 to 10. LaDana Parker will continue to serve for Resurrection. Good deep serve. They get it across. Denmark. Godfrey. Sanders with a good strong hit. It's in. At the East Marion Lady Eagles feet. And so it's point Resurrection. And it goes 21 to 10. Resurrection will substitute a couple of our younger players, Stratton Frederick and Miss St. Pay. There's the serve. 
East Marion taps across, St. Pei. Godfrey Sanders with a good strong hit, but uh, doesn't make it across. And so East Marion will side out and take over the serve. In the meantime, another substitution for resurrection. Santa Mallet will come in and take the place of Caroline Roberts. East Marion will serve. It's 21 to 11, resurrection. Set number three. Deep serve, St. Pei, Godfrey. Sanders with a tap across. Saved, but goes wide out of bounds, and it'll side out. Again, Hunter, I thought we were going to have to play that time. I know it. They're, they're trying to get us involved in this game. They'll side out, and Resurrection will take over the serve, and so Drunay Pickens goes to the serve line. 22 to 11 Resurrection. Good deep serve played by East Marion. Kind of gets away. She tries to tap it. Gets a good strong save. She hits it in, but that's as far as it can go. And that's the third hit, and so it'll be point resurrection. That's the 23rd point, correct? That's correct. 23 to 11, and resurrection will substitute uh, another one of our St. Pei ladies. Um, and she'll take over the serve. There's a midline serve, good serve, gets it across. Tap, and it's in. A uh, young lady from East Marion made a great play, got a good strong two-handed tap across, went kind of wide with it, got it to the other side where no resurrection Lady Eagles were, and got it to hit that yellow line. So at 23 to 12, East Marion will take over the serve. Good strong serve, Parker. Godfrey gets the tap across, side out. This is not only set point, but this is match point, Hunter. All and right. So one point here by Resurrection. We'll end this and send our Lady Eagles to Oxford. There's here we the go. Tap. Gets it across, Godfrey. Mallet, tap across. East Marion saves, two-handed tap, goes deep to St. Pei. Godfrey, Cowan, and it's resurrection point. Lady Eagles take set number three. They win the match three sets to zero. They win 25 to five, 25 to 11, and 25 to 12. And so our Lady Eagles will now head up the road. Uh, they're gonna leave Wednesday afternoon and start heading to Oxford. And um, uh, they'll play at the Gillum Center in, uh, on the campus of Ole Miss. And, um, I don't know who they'll play yet. Really don't know the time. That'll all be set tomorrow. Uh, but it'll be a semifinal match and an opportunity for them to play for the state championship in Class 1 in women's volleyball. Wow. What a great match. And, you know, these these Lady Eagles look outstanding. Um, I, I think they're going to make a deep run. And I think this is going to be it's going to be fun to watch. Yeah, you know, a, I, if I was a Resurrection alum or Resurrection uh, student, I'd be excited about what's to go. Yeah, it, it's a lot of fun to watch them play. And, uh, you know, mom's been kind of the word all day today. Coach Tucker wouldn't let them talk about what would happen if they did win. And so now they, you can see they get to kind of smile and, and think about uh, the trip and getting to go somewhere and, and play some of the best talent in Mississippi and, and maybe win a state championship. Awesome. Well, you know, at WGUD Sports, we just want to – once again, thank you all for allowing us to come here and live stream this broadcast. And uh, we've always uh, really appreciated our relationship with Resurrection High School. We wish the best of luck to the Lady Eagles. And we'd really like to thank our sponsors, too, that made this possible. It's uh, Burrow Law Firm and Pro Health and Fitness, which I'm probably going to end up going there right after we leave this broadcast. So, But... Um, Anyways, uh, thank you again. We really appreciate it. And, you know, without you, then there would have been a lot of dead air because I would have had no <laughs> idea other than just to go, ooh, ah, nice. But um, we had a great time. And uh, everybody just stay tuned. Check this out. We'll post it up on our YouTube page, too. That's at Gulf Coast Sports Network. Don't forget, we also do the East Central High School football games live via Facebook and St. Martin High School football games live via YouTube. 
And once again, that YouTube page is Gulf Coast Sports Network. Subscribe. Subscribe to our Facebook page. And we'll see you all next time. This is Hunter Bickham. Have a good night.